first thing I do is go clean the men, the ladies' room and the men's room. That's very important. And he makes a joke of that he oh. cleans the bathroom for his medication. Oh. Isop's Frank Cardilli is 79 years old. He's featured in Michael Moore's new documentary, Sicko, as a living example of the failing health care system in the United States. When Frank was younger and raising two children in Brooklyn, he worked three jobs at a time. Frank retired at 65. Poor health and the high cost of medicine led him to seek work again. Frank picked up a part-time job at a Pathmark and Bay Shore, where he's been the last 11 years. I got glaucoma, see? I got three eye medicines. I got two blood pressure pills. I had surgery four times on this eye and two times on this eye with laser beams and the, the glaucoma keeps coming back on me. All right, the medicine I used to get, I paid for back in them days, wasn't so bad. You know, a little bottle with maybe $50, well, it'd last a month, you get three, four. Now, that same bottle is about $125, and I got to take three of those. That's what caused me to go back to work. After one month, I got all my medication for free. The richest country in the world, and we're number 37 in the in the world, as far as health care. I go around and spot my, most of the floors. I may get about 10, 15 calls. There's a spillage here, or there's something to do. I come home tired, she knows that. As long as my prescription, that I get it practically for nothing, I will continue to work, because I can't afford it, really can't. I'm going to work till I die. <laughs> <laughs>